my karma babies. Granny Karma here. Uh, yeah, I'm out in my little uh, happy place. I've been out here cleaning up and, uh, you know, just having a little solitude, a little time away. And um, I was sitting here in my little rocking chair and um, I've been thinking about a few things and I just wanna share some thoughts with you guys. Uh, I know that I'm not the only one who's feeling this way. You know, I do get a little sentimental when it's raining, it's raining out. Um, it's very, it's gotten cloudy, really dark out. This is the time I usually like to cuddle up and oh, I love taking a nice little nap when it's raining. But so many things are occurring and things are happening that I wanted to share some thoughts with you guys. Have we forgotten? Have we forgotten? You know, I know that I had sort of forgotten, not, you know, completely forgotten. We can't completely forget it. But worrying about um, all the crises that are happening around us and in other countries and, you know, worrying about the banks and food shortages and the price of gas, <sighs> we've forgotten to live. my case I don't feel like I've really forgotten to live I'm afraid to live I'm afraid now because you know we all stopped talking about the sea we all stopped talking about the sea because you know the food shortage and the gas shortages and the, the prices of everything is soaring and so, you know, we stopped concentrating on that. And I even, I mean, after being in, 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 in very careful and cautious and being in the house for over two and a half years, you know, I ventured out. I had a wonderful time to go visit my sister. Uh, we shared so much laughter and so much happiness together and we got our tattoos, our matching tattoos. But let me tell you, I knew and I felt inside of me that I had a very small window of opportunity to feel life again. I knew that I needed to go right then and there. And I, even after the last visit that I made with her, I told her, now you know I'm not gonna be able to see you for a while because I knew that the seed was going to ramp up and it has ramped up. Uh, you guys know I'm in a small town and the sea has visited some people that are close to me. People that I knew had it before, but now people that are close to me have gotten it. And it's very frightening because it's going to affect everybody different. Some people get a little sniffle. Some people get a little cold. Some people die. Now, I'm afraid again I'm afraid just like I was afraid before and I'm so thankful that I had that short window of opportunity to relax and enjoy my life again it felt wonderful guys have you forgotten what it feels like to see a friend in the store and to give them a big hug there's people that 
you know, I see in the store and I don't even recognize them because they've got their mask on and then they lower the mask. They're at a distance, but they go, it's me, it's me. What have we lost? We, we've lost the togetherness. The, I could walk into the store and I would be greeted by customers and employees with beautiful smiles all around and a hello. Everybody said hello. Everybody spoke. And that's not happening now. Everybody is so caught up and involved in what's going on around them and it's very frightful. New York City just had a PSA about what to do if there's a nuclear attack. What kind of world are we living in? What are we doing? Did we create this ourselves? Did we create this world? Well, you know what? If we did create it, I'm not enjoying it. I, and I feel bad for the young people. You know, there's the, the young people, what they have to go through, what they're going through. They're being isolated at home. They're being secluded at home. Um, this is a very sad world that we're in today, guys. A very sad world. Now, I do see people walking around and like everything is okay. And, and it makes me think, Mary, are you over-exaggerating? Um, you know, at your age, you don't have a whole lot of time. You want to spend that time locked up in, in, in your house, away from people. And then I think about what choice I have. You guys know that my daughter is ill. I can't be out there and inadvertently bring a virus back home to her. I'm afraid for my family. And it's not just food. I'm afraid that life is just passing us by. You know, this was in 2019 that the V hit us. And we're still running away from it. When do we begin to live again? When do we say, you know, I want to live. I want to enjoy being outside. I want to go to concerts. I want to go to parties. I want to go to dinners. When do we do that safely? I hope and pray that you get that opportunity to do it soon, and I hope and pray that I do also. But in the meantime, we do have to stay safe. You know, we do have to stay in control of our environment. And don't forget about the V. You know, it was on the news 24 seven and now they're, they, they mention it here and there. Um, I know it's on the rise. And another thing to think about, a lot of people are getting ill and they're taking the self home test. So you don't hear about it. They're being, they're testing positive, but they're not going to the hospital. And that kind of makes me think, is that why they sent out these you know, gave us these three home tests so that to keep us in the dark about how many people are getting infected again and or continuously or that it just never stopped to lure, lure us into a sense of complacency to think that everything is okay to get back out there. And, you know, people are getting ill. 
They're dying. Millions of people have died from this virus all over the world. We've got to, why can't they do something to just eradicate this, to stop this? It, it, it needs to stop. It's, it's tearing families apart. It's tearing communities apart. It's just breaking down the fabric of our world, our life. I guess <laughs> I can sit here and talk all day and complain all day, but all I can say is stay strong. Stay strong. Make it through this. Don't give up. Make it through this. Don't just throw your hands up in the air and go, oh, well, you know, everybody's going to get it. It's going to be that I'm going to get it. Keep fighting. Keep fighting because you don't know you may be the one that don't survive it. Keep fighting it. I'm going to keep fighting it as long as I can. I'm going to keep it away from my doors as long as I can. Because I don't like playing Russian roulette, roulette with my life. But it's a sad world we've created. Did we create this? I think we did. I think... You know, no, we didn't create the virus, <laughs> but you know, where did it come from? Was this planned? First the virus, then the economy, the banks are, you know, not stable. This world is scary, very scary. But this is all we have. <laughs> I can't get on an airplane and go to the moon somewhere and say, oh, forget that old earth down there. <laughs> I think I'll stay up here for a while until they get it all figured out. We got to take what we have. Take what little bit that we have. And thank God for it on a daily. Thank God and just live. Live to the best of our ability. Thank God for the time that we do have, that the time that we do have, make it precious and make every single second count. Let your loved ones know that you love them. Let them know that you love them and that you adore them and that you would be lost without them. Because the world that we're living in right now is scary, very scary. Well, I just wanted to tell you guys that and let you know that I love you with all my heart and remember how others treat you is their karma but how you respond my babies is your karma I love you guys bye bye now I'll see you very soon